Eli here. Today, I want to share my SEO strategy for 2024, how I got on the first page of Google within 24 hours, and I spent one hour in pick time creating a blog post and a slideshow. It was so easy, uh, really cool. So if you don't know about pick time, it's an image delivery software, and they have implemented more and more tools throughout the years, and most recently, blogging, creating content, and slideshows. It's amazing. So I'm going to just show you really quick how I got on the first page of Google. I'm going to prove it to you. Here is Kona Salt Farm wedding. I photographed this wedding one month ago, delivered the images within a week, and then within a month, I created a blog post. As we scroll down, we will see the slideshow that I made and uploaded to YouTube. Here is a reel that I made that was shared over and over by uh, the planners, which was great. And then uh, right here is Kona Salt Farm wedding in Hawaii, and this is my website. And then we can keep going, there's more. So I'm right behind a lot of the major ones, obviously, you know, the knot, here comes the guide, those are gonna be hard to beat, but still not too bad. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. I'm just gonna do it briefly. The <laughs> pick time um, walkthrough is gonna be a lot better than what I show you, but I just wanna show you how this has worked for me. So here's the blog post that I created, start at the top. I put in the slideshow. So if anyone comes to the website, first thing they can do is just watch a video. And then this is content that was created by AI. I put in about a paragraph and it gave me four or five here. Uh, reference your vendors, out, links are always good to have. And then down here, the full post, I'm just gonna go really fast through this. Great wedding. And at the bottom, it's gonna have a link to the full gallery. So couples can go see the entire wedding. And that way they're you know gonna know what it looks like when I deliver an entire wedding. I break everything down, first look family, ceremony, portraits, and in ceremony, I always put those details first. So it's all chronological so they can see the ceremony site and that leads into the ceremony. It takes a little extra time in Lightroom, but I make it happen. And then portraits, reception. And then these guys also had me at the rehearsal. And then I also videoed their ceremony with just an iPhone and a DJI mic. So very basic, but you know, nice for them to have. And it was easy for me to do. So let's go over into the software. This is the one that I already created. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the background tools, SEO setup. And here I put in my SEO keywords, and then I can label each image and uh, alt tag the images if I want and rename the files. So alt tags are here, renaming the files are here. So and then apply. All right, from scratch, we're going to go over here. We're going to select under photos in the gallery. Um, you can create a slideshow very easily. I'm not going to go through that one. Super easy. Just click here. You can upload your own music if you have rights to it. I use Artlist and Audio AI to get my music. They also have a bunch of music selections in here, and they give you the rights to it for YouTube if you need it or Instagram. And then create a blog right here. So let's do that. Create blog. Okay, you can pick your style. I'm just gonna go single images, click continue. You can create the content here. You put in whatever you want to write. So let's just copy what I wrote or what the computer wrote based off what I wrote. We'll just command C. We'll come over here. We will copy it here, we'll put in our keywords and then you know the narrative casual storyteller. We'll just do storyteller for fun, create content. So we put in a good amount of words and it spit out content for us. So I'm not going to read this right now, but it's, it's always like dead on. It's so good. Um, it's very impressive. So I'll go through and I'll put this in a Google doc and then I'll just read through it. I'm really lazy. So I, I literally just have the computer read it to me. And then I go through and adjust anything that I need to adjust or I'll add content or, or customize it. Uh, and then I will later add that to my blog post. So I'm just going to skip this for now. And then I'm going to select just a few images, just real fast. I'm just going to go through here, some vertical, horizontal, be very quick with this. If you want the images a little bit larger, you click right here so you can see them a little better. I'm on a 27 inch screen, so it's a little bit easier. Some details and do all these. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a rehearsal. All right. So we're just going to add these photos. Okay, it's gonna put the header photo from the gallery on top. And then it's gonna put the title here. I remove the title. I put in an H1 tag there so that I can, you know, organize my H tags. 
So, and then here it's going to put the content. I delete this and then I put it in myself because I just want to write it into the website. And then here we can see if we want to move any images around for any, any reason. So let's select one here. Just say, for example, I wanted this image here. I drag it over and it'll swap them. And, and yeah, so you can go here. You can go sorting your photos by file name, whatever you want. Uh, style, you can pick your style, your layout, your color palette. If you want this color to match the background of your website, you want to change that here. Fonts, border size, you can reduce the border. I think I have the border almost, yeah, small, just very small. So my images are larger. So yeah, so it's going to create this on the bottom. You can, um, there's a vendor section. You can add all the vendors you want. I will delete this, just remove it. And I'll reference them on the website. And then right here is that uh, view full gallery, which is I leave, which I think is a great added feature. So we'll click done. Actually here, I'll show you this. Uh, continue without editing. Let's see here. So if we were done, we could come back here. We can go to integrate. And you can integrate this into WordPress. So got some options here. Wix, old WordPress editor. And then you can integrate this to, I guess, some other yeah, social media, wherever you want. And then done. And then oh, continue without editing. Cool. And then it pops up right down here. So if you want to go back and adjust it or tweak it, you can always do that. But, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So what I do is I, like I said, I upload that uh, slideshow that I make on the slideshow tab and to YouTube because Google owns YouTube. And so we put that in there and it prompts into a, a separate category of, of viewing. So like if anyone's searching on YouTube, it's going to pop up or videos. And then it's something for uh, potential clients to look at when they land on the page. And then right below that, I put in the, the content, the vendors, and then the blog posts. The more links you have on your website, the better. Uh, inbound links pointing to different pages, like your main weddings page, uh, would be something I would want to add here. And yeah, so cool. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, it's like I said, it works. <laughs> page one, I do have a decent ranking on my website. I've worked pretty hard over the years to gain, um, you know, some SEO clout, but I also have another website called bendorganelopement.com that has a very low ranking score and it still works there. So sometimes it will beat this website just based off uh, the page, the, the keyword elopements. So yeah, hopefully I book another wedding out there at Kona Salt Farm. It'd be fun. It was beautiful. Uh, had a blast photographing out there. It was just a great change from, you know, being in the mountains and yeah. If this is helpful, let me know. Um, go. I recommend going checking out PickTime. Uh, there's a link down below where I think you get a free month, if I remember right. I'll check that. But um, but yeah, go check them out. I don't even care if you use my link. <laughs> They're so great. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful couple and running amazing software. And I mean, worldwide, it's amazing. You can pick galleries from or uh, print labs from all over the world. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, good luck.